amid the bright colors and fragrant bath products, this factory in Vancouver is a good example of how Canada's manufacturing sector is working through a pandemic. And like so much else in our lives, they're relying on physical distancing and faith. In this case, that workers will be safe and customers will come back. When Lush Cosmetics shut down its stores across North America in March, this plant closed as well. But as online sales started to grow, the company realized it needed a plan, not just to reopen, but also to rethink production. Perhaps the biggest change, creating more space between workers. That means that we've really reduced the number of staff that we have working in any one room. In a room of this size, you would typically have 20 to 25 people working in a day. And right now, as you can see, we have about six to eight people who are working during the shift. Willis says Lush didn't just need to make the workplace safer from COVID. They needed to make sure their workers felt safe when they returned. Did you feel a little nervous when you first walked in? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, because it's like you come in and you're like, oh, do I have to stand like how far back or, you know, can you say hi? That sort of thing, right? But everyone was ready to make sure everyone was more aware of their surroundings. Everyone was ensuring that everyone was keeping distance toward each other. So everyone is looking out for each other. At Cape Hassa Chips, about a half hour's drive away in Delta, they've been dealing with an additional COVID challenge. Not just stricter safety measures, but soaring sales as well. Things usually slow down after the Super Bowl and before summer, but not during a pandemic. We all went and visited grocery stores and saw just shelves empty. And we said, well, we need to get back our products back into stock. So our team worked really hard they all put in extra effort and they're able to extend the five-day operation that we have 24 hours a day into a seven-day operation within uh, two weeks. Stephen says chip sales are up more than 40 percent. Other products from their U.S. plants are also in greater demand, but early on they had to close in Wisconsin for a few days after three workers tested positive for COVID-19. A reminder of what could happen if they didn't make the right changes quickly. And how many people would have been around here? Four people. In the old days, you know, February, workers would be crowded around this table. Now they're masked, distanced, and behind plexiglass. They're also getting a bonus, a couple of dollars more an hour. But while they're busier than usual here, the story for manufacturers across the country depends on what they make. In some sectors, they've had a really hard time because demand fell precipitously, like aviation and, and auto and their whole supply chain. But in other things like consumer products and food, demand has been pretty steady. And in those cases, they've had more to deal with how to keep operating to take care of their employees. At Lush, fewer people in the plant means lower output, but that's okay for now. Sales are about half of what they'd usually be this time of year. But as stores start to reopen, and eventually there's the holiday season, these spaces may need to be reconfigured again.